Hi everyone, my name is Silvio Perez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkward Systems. Today I'll be showing you the new story and result options available in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 and above. If you're ever limited on hard drive space but still require to run a transient thermal or static analysis, SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 gives you the option to limit what results are actually being generated. So if we take a look at this example here, we have a computer chip assembly and we want to run a transient analysis. So if we take a look at the properties, we've defined here that we, we want it to run for 60 seconds with a time increment of one second. Well, what this does is actually it's going to save your results for every one second increment. So this can generate a pretty large file depending on how much your total time is and how refined you want your results to be based on this time increment. Well, what SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 gives you now is if you go into your result options and define an edit, you now have the option to specify actual solution steps that SOLIDWORKS um, needs to save and generate for you. So if you select that option there, you see that we have this section here that says solution steps set one. So for this example, let's say that, you know, we wanted to save this space, but we're really interested in what's going on in the first 10 seconds of this analysis. Well, we now have that option to do so. So if we specify here that our analysis is going to start at second one and for and end at 10 seconds, we can specify that we have a refined increment of one second there. So this is similar to what we specified in our study properties, except we're saying we want it to save every increment of one time step for the first 10 seconds. And then for the remaining 50 seconds, we can then checkbox this option here and specify from 11 seconds to the 60 seconds, we then want an increment size of 5. So this is now saying that from 11 to 50, it's going to save every 5 seconds. So you can see that um, what this is going to do is reduce the amount of time steps that's actually being saved, therefore reducing the, the file size of your result. And we can uh, enable uh, up to 5 sets here, and we can do any type of combination from start point to end point and how we want to differ the time step there. For this example, we just want to do the first uh, or specify a, a, a solution step for uh, two sets there. So if I select this option, hit OK, and if we run that analysis and get a results, we can take a look at our results there. And if we take a look at our time step, you see that as I increase the time step, it's showing us the result for that one second increment that I specified in set one. But after 10 seconds now, it's now showing me the results being saved after every five seconds there. So what this did in turn was give us 20 plot steps as opposed to the 60 plot steps that it would have given us if we would have stayed with the original study properties. So again, this is a great option because it gives you the flexibility of what results you are more interested in seeing along with saving the disk space since not all the time steps are being generated here. If we're taking a look at a static analysis, we have a similar option here uh, where we can limit what results are actually being displayed. So in an in a original static analysis, what it's going to output is displacement, stress, and strain. But if you right click on your result options again, you now have the option to, um, to only save and generate the displacement result and exclude stress and strain. So if we dis deselect that, hit OK and run, it will generate this message here, data not available, and that's referring to the stress and strain results that were not generated. But if you take a look at the displacement results, you see that they were generated following what we specified there in the result options. So again, what this does is it limits what results are being generated, therefore minimizing the size of your result. In this video, we saw how we can minimize the size of our results by being able to choose what time steps we want to save for a transient thermal study, along with having the choice to just save the displacement results for a static study. Thanks for watching.